Hey there, I'm really excited because today we're kicking off a whole new series and this one is on sending email with SendGrid. Now, sending email is a really common task to be asked to do as a programmer. And in C Sharp, you've got a few ways to do this. Perhaps you've already used the um, SMTP client class, which is in one of the .NET namespaces. And that works for sending messages, although the latest help file says that they don't recommend using it for new code, and they're pointing us now to a thing called MailKit, which is a NuGet package. And that works too, and it's really great if what you need to do is send a small volume of messages occasionally, and if you have an SMTP server that you can use, then these messages just come from inside your organization, and that works nicely. However, if you're starting to send lots of messages, then you're quickly gonna run into things like spam filters and daily message send limits. And even in the worst case, you could even get your whole domain blocked if you're sending tons of messages. So using those um, methods I talked about earlier, it doesn't really scale up for marketing or sending a lot of messages to your members, to your customers, to your vendors, to your suppliers, to whoever it is. And depending on your needs, it could be thousands and thousands of messages. So what are you gonna do? And at this point, you have to look for sort of a third party solution to kind of act as a go-between, as a message broker. And they can take care of all of the problems with sending bulk email without running afoul of bulk mail um, and spam protection policies. So there are quite a few options. And the one I'm going to talk about in this series is called SendGrid, and I really love it. It is affordable, it is easy to use, and it has some C-sharp little utility wrappers that we can use. So that's what we're going to do in this series. We're going to look at SendGrid, we're going to figure out how to use it to send mail, and we're going to write a bunch of C-sharp code to automate it. Okay, ready to go? Here we go. Sending email with SendGrid. So the first thing you need to do is get a SendGrid account, and they're free. So you just go to SendGrid.com, click on one of these Start for Free links, and just walk through the sign-up process. Then, once you've got an account, there are three things you're going to need to set up. So the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to go to Settings, API Keys, and you're going to click this Create API Key button and walk yourself through the process of getting an API key. The SendGrid API is a REST API and it is secured, so you'll need that. The next thing is you need to go to the Sender Authentication tab and you need to set up what's called a verified single sender. So this is the origin address. When you send mail through SendGrid, this is who the mail is gonna come from. So you'll just need to go through that and set up one of those. And then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you go under Email API and you select Integration Guide, then you're gonna get some resources that you can um, read up on. So choose Web API here. And you can choose um, to go through examples, but what I would recommend first off is just click here to go to the API documentation. Um, as I take you through these code examples and other techniques, pretty much I'm gonna be just referring to things here in the REST API um, documentation for the SendGrid v3 API. Okay, so that'll get you going. Once you have all that set up, I'll see you in the second video and we'll get started with automating SendGrid. 